Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, uh -huh, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with this week's power review. We're going to apologize right off the gate because yeah. this is a holiday weekend and it was at the tail end of our vacation. And then we had family from Baltimore come through. Yeah. So we're just getting a clear house. So, like we said, we apologize. But for all you all that came through on last week that we hadn't seen since last season, y'all came through like no e the freaking before. E so we want to say thank you and welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Go ahead and rate the video thumbs up or thumbs down. At this e point, it doesn't even matter. You've already been counted and you might as well stay, you know. E so we're going to get into a power. Whose side are you on? Take it away, baby. Yeah. I'm gonna say uh, tonight's episode, but we are uh, we late, but it was good. It was good. Yeah, <laughs> to me, it's it's, it's 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 starting to get crazy now. It's starting to feel like old power because yeah. last week I was kind of like, okay, we just gonna ride this season out, but today kind of felt like old power, <laughs> and it's starting to scare me. <laughs> yeah. So we start off and we see ghosts is seeing them pull Thomas car up on the record. And, you know, he having a, a moment, you know, I just killed my fam, best friend. But we know Ghost, he remorseful for a little bit of time. Then after that, he move on. So, so yeah. So, of course, he got to go and make it right with Jason. You know, because we remember a few seasons ago, Ghost been trying to get out of the drug game. But mm -hmm. some kind of way, seemed to get all the way drug back in. Drug fooling game. around with Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> so, he talked to Jason. Jason was like, okay, time is dead, line his tail off. Now, for me not to retaliate, I'm going to need you to pay me $200,000 every two weeks. That's a I was job. like, that's a hell of a paycheck for every two goddamn weeks. I would, if I was ghost, I'd be like, you know what, I'm better dead than alive at this point. Just kill me. <laughs> now, I, can't, I ain't got but, it. But, of course, we knew he was booze getting because he already knew, you know, he knew time was pretty much uh, alive. So, he just was... Throwing ghosts off, but I guarantee you, go send in the money. He gonna take it and take it to the bank and make it a deposit. Oh, Jason! Jason's in charge of the girls right now. Yeah, him and Tasha are in charge <laughs> of the girls. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> so yeah, so now we learn, and maybe it's, we might have missed something, but don't matter. Tasha done signed a prenup, so even if she get a divorce, she gets. Zero. No, if she initiates yeah, the yeah, divorce, initiate, yeah. she, she gets, gets zero. She gets zero dollars. So that was, means that Jamie Ghost is in charge of Tasha for yeah. the rest of her life. So exactly. if she wants to divorce, bye bye bit. Yeah. But if I get sick and tired of you, and I, yeah. But he's never gonna do that. But she ran a for, uh, forensics. Uh, Accountant. Said, yeah, on him to find out he has some hidden accounts. So, yeah, Tasha, yeah, you would ghost for life. <laughs> ain't nothing, ain't, the, even if you get, well, I don't want to get ahead of myself. But, why'd you even go to the freaking hearing when you know you signed a prenup? That's what I didn't get. Like, yeah, you, I mean, you knew already rules. knew what you did. Yeah. So, why in the world you even go to make yourself look like a fool like that? Because she thought that, that, that um, them account, that a, the, what the account has found would help her case. No, and not if you're going to sign a prenup. Anywho. Anywho. God, no, that's like freaking signing the contract for your mortgage and all of a sudden don't pay it and they, and they come to like, take your house and you be like, why are you taking my house? Cause you, because you didn't you, pay you, your mortgage. You Tasha. defaulted. Not me. So Tasha, you can't collect the money to 50% for hmm. you to sign the prenup. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, but, uh, we see Tommy is trying to retaliate based upon Jason's got on recommendation to take out Ghost. And he had a clear shot, and I was like, here we go. So he's going to take a shot at him in the broad daylight like that? They always do. Yeah. But uh, before he could take the shot, he got kidnapped. He got kidnapped. And I was like, what? who the hell is this? Who the hell is these guys? Because <laughs> Ghost got kidnapped at first. I said, now time to get kidnapped. Are they going to end up at the same place at the same the, time? I said, what the hell? So when he gets to the place and snatched the bag off his head, he in front of Jason was like, Jason, what the fuck? 
<laughs> I had a clear shot of Ghost Why the hell did you bring me back here? And he was like, it's not good for business to, you know, pretty much kill Ghost right now. And he was like, what? What? He said, well, if Ghost finds out that I'm alive, mm -hmm. he I'm gonna good he's dead. He ain't gonna kill me. So that's what he meant. <laughs> Jason, Jason, I'll tell you, Jason is smart. Jason's Jason was, in charge of the girls. Yeah. <laughs> Jason said, I tell you what, I can give you extra protection. And a fee. And a fee. I'm saying. <laughs> so I said on the other side, he collected $200,000 every two weeks from Ghost. And I don't know how much he'll collect from Tommy. Just to keep for, it for alive. That, yeah. <laughs> Jason is in charge of the girls. Hashtag Jason is God in charge don't. of the girls. So we see that Tommy finally gets his shipment and talking to his guys. They the most dysfunctional, unorganized, got done drug gang, drug team that I ever seen in my life. But they get stuff done in a clutch. So every time he come back to them, he got they some, fighting. They, they fighting. Oh, he got a bullshit story. So this time, Tommy was like. I ain't, I, I, I ain't supposed to be alive right now. So I'm a ghost, ghost, ghost. Yeah, I'm a ghost. ghost. And they was like, what? <laughs> what, what, what? What happened? You know, you Tupac, Machiavelli? What, what's going on here? You faking your death? What's going on? So Tom was like, don't even worry about it. I got it. It's a one man thing. I'm going to take care of it. Yeah. And. But they still want to know wait a minute. If you're supposed to be dead. Yeah. Do we need to watch out? Yeah. Yeah, so we see uh, Tariq, he's still doing his thing up at the college, still trying to set up his little drug thing going on and make a little extra paper. For a minute, I thought that he'd actually stop. Yeah, but I know he ain't stop, you know. He... But he he's learning from his uncle and his dad. Yep. Don't you be the one to do it. You get out of people to do it. I said, yep. okay, I got you. Well, he gonna get a dummy to do it. His roommate. Yeah, his roommate is gonna bring somebody back to get something like he gonna sell it to him. I'm like, come on, man. But they said he ain't had no good sense. And then he talking about this girl. Well, uh, Tariq said, I tell you what, this is what we're going to do. Anytime you want something, it's going to go through you. Gave him the pills. And he was like, you bring me back 20. You keep this. And you keep 10. <laughs> Dude was like, we about to be filthy rich. We about to be filthy rich, bro. Tariq said, we're in We're already rich. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on down. Yeah. He said, well, we're we going to have, yeah, we're going to have our own. Our, our own money. Our own dough. So this fool goes out, sells, and this girl on the road up on him some kind of way named Neffy. <laughs> and was like, she won't see you. And if you don't come, she gonna rat both of us out. I said, oh. I said, oh, we gonna I said, run I thought, he had, I, like, I thought he had went in on somebody else's territory at the school. And yeah. they was like, you need to see me. That's Yeah, I was thinking the same thing too. I said, oh, it was a jealous ninja <laughs> you know that was doing it. So she, he went to go see her, and she was like, you know what? It's like only five of us here on campus, and you fitting to make us all look bad. bad. So you need to stop selling drugs. So Tariq, ghost son, and which now I say, I know he ghost son, the way he negotiated where he was like, wait a minute. So you here, you got on some old clothes, you got on some old sneaks. Matter of fact, you probably rocking the laptop you had when you was in middle school. It ain't going to make it to graduation. Yeah. So, you ought to come work for me. Make Less money, hours, more money. And you can study. And you can study. And leave this behind. <laughs> and she was like, hmm. Okay. So, we saw that she went to his dorm and was like, pretty much, I'm in. You know, you got the paper. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, now that Tariq got two people working for him now. Crazy. He got more people working for him than his dad to do at this moment. Yep. And, it's, and it's, no, no, not Tommy yet. Yep. Now I wasn't I wasn't gonna talk about this part, but I'm gonna talk about this right now. We're gonna we're gonna talk about old Proctor's ex-wife. Oh Lord. <laughs> uh, she decided that she wanted to take him back to court for custody, and she gets in there in the courtroom. She done some kind of way. She got her a job. Got, got her a job. Will go her way into a good job. A good job, six figure job. Was in court talking with, with real the, good. With the people. Yeah. In the court talking real good. And y'all saw it. Got back there in the back because the judge was like, we need to go where the child is and make the decision. And she started crying when, when the judge asked her, who you want to spend time with? You want to be with your daddy or do you want to split the custody? She started crying and Proctor was broke down. I was like, you know what? I'll split custody. 
I said, here we go again. Crackhead manipulation. With the crackhead manipulation once again. That's what you I wanted. Where? Every show that it be on, we bring it up. It, it, we tell you for it. Yeah. It works. They do it all the time. They do. But we remember that Cooper Sacks was interviewing her. Uh, well, not interviewing. They was talking at a meeting. And she was like, why don't you slip something on her backpack so that we can hear the conversations that he having? And she was like, at that point, I don't have custody. So pretty much this played right on into mm -hmm. that plan because we saw that when she had her time with her, she slipped that unicorn looking thing, that, uh, that My Chang. Little Pony looking a horse on her backpack. I said, here we go. So now it's on and popping. Yeah. And you, a lot happens at Proctor's apartment. <laughs> yeah, it do. Yeah, it do. But then again, a lot of times he meet ghosts and, you know, now ghosts be coming to his apartment here later. Yeah, yeah, true that, true that. So I hope I hope that Proctor picked that out and see some strange horse on that got no book bag. Unicorn, yo. Well, whatever it is. As you know, this, this yeah. is a channel. Everybody corrects everything you say. Yeah, that's all that's cool. That's cool. It ain't cool. So we see Cooper Sachs is having another conversation with uh Angela's sister. Cause she up in the office going through all her stuff. And I'm like, how is these just like last week when Ghost was at her apartment and her sister is in her office going through the stuff, he was like, nah, you can't add that. Cause that's part of that's a federal, fed, uh, federal investigation or federal property or whatever. And he said, I got something else that I need you to do. And I'm like, you already done convinced her, you know, to do this autopsy. autopsy. And then he gonna tell her, uh, you know, her benefits. They on they on freeze there, you know. Yeah, we we got to yeah. go through HR and a whole lot of red tape. Yeah, we really don't know which side of the coin she's and on. She, and said, she was like, "Wait a minute, she worked here for y'all for nine years. Why why should even be in the stigma on her getting her benefits?" That's what I wonder. I was like, yeah, is it really like that? Yeah, because I'm like, life insurance policy shouldn't have nothing to do with any of that stuff. Whether or not I'm a I'm a rat or not. Yeah, so I. But, I yeah. Maybe they're trying to tell us something that we don't know. Cause I'm but like, oh, but then okay. again, with it, when it comes down to the federal government, they can do pretty much anything they want to do, when they want to do it, and how they want to mm -hmm. do it. And pretty much they want you to lay down and take that skin. So the sister was like, hold on, I ain't got that type of money. Hold on. Wait yeah. a minute, punk. You got no brakes. I said, uh-huh. That, that little proposition that ghost gave you don't yeah. sound that bad right now. Mm -hmm. So Cooper Sachs was like, you know, anything you can find to help me with this case let me know. So once again, we see the sister at Angela's <laughs> going through her stuff and she finds the burner phone that all of them was communicating on when they try to keep each other out of jail. And so she saw a number on the phone and she thought it was ghosts. At first she called it, no answer. Then she sent a text and said, I need to meet with you. This is the least you can do for my sister. And said, okay. I said, okay. Where? Well, and I was like, that was fast. Yeah. But it won't go. It was Tasha. She was like, why are why you? Why are you? Once y'all enemies, didn't y'all like, like each other? And Tasha pretty much broke it down to a listen. <laughs> Your sister didn't always make the right decisions. Yeah. She was trying to help me. Mm -hmm. We helped each other. We had an agreement. Exactly. If you turn that phone in. Yeah. Your sister's going to be implicated. So. Yeah. And her reputation is going to be. And her money. benefits. Yup. Gone. Are gone. So she was like. She's helped me. Yep. Go ahead and pretty much let that phone die right along with her. Exactly. Let it go. Let it go. So <laughs> she said, you can either turn the phone in or you can work with me and we're going to be all right. <laughs> and her sister's looking like, how the hell did I get in this mess now? Yeah. I'm just trying to get some answers for my sister's death and now I'm part of the bull skit. Exactly. Uh, now we see y'all uh, Councilman Lorenz Tate is back on his bus get. Now you already know he already know that ghost is not on the up and up. But he always keep on coming in with the bus get because he wanna become the counselor. Did you call him Lorenz Tate? Who's Lorenz Tate? <laughs> Lorenz Tate is his real name. Yeah, I say Councilman Lorenz Tate. <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Tate. <laughs> yeah, Councilman Lorenz Tate. <laughs> So, yeah, he was like, you know, we got this press conference tomorrow. Anything I did, you kill Angela. Like, he gonna tell him if he did. And do you know who if you didn't do it? Yeah, you know who. So, they went to the thing. 
uh, he doing his little speech, and this dude rolled up and was like, "Hey, you fake player! I, I, the place that you talking about, you trying to help? I live there, and I haven't had a job in nine months. Now I don't agree with that. I'm like, he ain't got nothing to do with you not getting no job. job. <laughs> He's like, I don't care about no quiz that's, child that's, project. Yeah, that's that's on you. Yeah, that's you playing. That you ain't got no job. Pretty boy over there. Yeah, he ain't I skit. Know. He used to work on the counter. Yeah, he just got builders that he runs <laughs> stuff out of there. I was like, oh. So this dude was pretty much backing him up in the corner and Ghost had to come to his rescue. And he didn't even appreciate that. He told me, didn't I tell you lay back? Like he bailed you like, out. You were sinking in yeah, that press conference. That dude was fitting to eat you alive. But we see he brought the same dude back into the office to be a researcher to find out all the information he can on Ghost. I'm like, shouldn't you did a fat check on him before you brought him into the organization? You know that. But you know how that worked, you know, the benefits of using his establishment, mm -hmm. using his popularity to further your campaign. I got a feeling it's going to backfire on him, though. Oh, it always does. Yeah, it's, 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 it's going to backfire on him for sure. So, we see Angela's sister is over at the church, grieving over her sister and asking the questions, why was you involved with them? Was it, you know, was you really trying to take down ghosts? Or was y'all together, you know, she just going back and forth, back and forth. And the preacher came in there and she was and was like, everything's been taken care of. And she was like, hmm? She said what did James St. Pat St. Patrick um pay for that? She was like, no. No, not him. I was like, hmm. Okay, so I said, well, who did this then? Yeah. Okay. So the only thing I can think of, either Tasha came through for or Ghost came in there and paid for it on another name. So she decided to take the phone and put the phone in the coffin and said, your secret is going to be buried with you. But first, she texts that number back That's to so Tasha. And say thanks. And said thank you. Yeah. But of course, we never saw that there was a reply yeah. that confirmed or denied whether or not she did it or not. <laughs> I said, honey, did you turn that phone on? Make sure it ain't ringing ring that ring casket. Because ring. <laughs> if it's ringing that casket, <laughs> and that's one of y'all going down. And that's one of y'all. Exactly. And, and you're going to be a part of it too because yeah. you're going to test the phone. <laughs> and now you tried to burn, burn the evidence with your sister. Yep. You in it too. So we definitely can't forget to talk about Keisha. Keisha is not ready for the game. Her and Tasha was, I mean, uh, him and uh, the Tommy. Tommy, her and Tommy was at uh, her apartment, kicking it in the kitchen, and somebody bangs on the door and she has a fit. She running all over, telling uh, her son, go back in the room. Tommy's like, like, Keisha. Just answer the door. Just answer the door. It's not the cops. Chill. It's good. <laughs> Told you she ain't about this yeah. life. But it was Tasha at the door. And now she, of course, because they got something going on, she don't want Tommy to talk to Tasha no more. She ought to know that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. They family. I mean, they think it's thieves, man. So you, you, I don't care how much booty you give him. He ain't fitting to cut that tie. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll tell you that right now. But but she was looking for Tommy. And she was like, hold on, something ain't right. And she know that her husband is on the loose. And like she said, you took a, you took, took a stab at the devil and you missed. Yep. So yeah, like we said, she she ain't about that life. She definitely, yeah. So I, I think she ought to go ahead and cut her losses where she at right now. And uh, you know, maybe go back and try to open up another hair shop. Yeah. <laughs> sell bundles. Yeah, and do that and make some paper. But nah, you ain't you ain't ready to uh do the drug game with timing. Mm -mm. Yeah, you ain't ready. So we finally get to Angela's funeral. Can I go back one yeah, step? Yeah, you sure can. Because the next part that happened really tripped me all the way out. Tommy went to meet oh, oh Tasha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this whole time, I'm like, whose car are they sitting in? Because, yeah. Tommy, your car is all riddled with bullets. <laughs> this is not your car. And they're having this whole conversation, and there's a breakdown of everything that had happened. First, that day on Ghost went to Tariq and told Tariq that he killed yeah. off of Tommy. Mm-hmm. But Tariq was like, when did this happen? He said, last night. 
Tariq had already called an Uber for Tommy to get from Jason's to wherever they uh -huh. he needed to go. So Tariq knew that that was bull. Uh -huh. All right. So now we know that Tariq know that Tommy is alive mm -hmm. and that my daddy think he don't kill Uncle Tommy. Yep. Okay. This is something for the books. So Tariq calls. Um, I don't know if he called or he texted Tommy and told Tommy, say, listen. Wait a minute. My daddy, my, came, my, my daddy came by and said that he killed you. <laughs> yeah. Because you killed Angela. <laughs> did, is that true? He was like, yeah, I yeah, killed yeah. Angela, but he didn't kill me. It's a whole lot going on, but we, we good. And he, once again, that whole conversation about killing ghosts came up. Uh, and Tariq said, at this point, you're going to have to take him out. Yeah, but make sure you tell me first. But make sure you tell me first. It's like, okay. Okay, so it's like that now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So Tom is in the car talking to Tasha, and she's telling him about all of the stuff. Wait, basically, in this divorce, I get nothing, Tommy. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. Unless he's dead. Yep. Because me and the kids are still his beneficiaries. Tommy looks at her. She looks at him he's like, I uh -huh. said, so everybody. All of them want to kill ghosts. Is ready to pull the trigger on old, old um, baby seal eyes. I said, okay. But ain't, that, but ain't that crazy, though? They've been benefiting off of him for all these years. Now, all of a sudden, because... He can go. He yeah, really he can go. I, yeah. I don't know. I think if you take Ghost out of all out of picture, power is over. It, it's almost over. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I guess it's going to be the last season right here. Yeah. I don't know. know. I just said he's such a female. I don't know. Yeah. So, then all of a sudden, Tommy goes to light up a joint. A In the car. And that's where Tasha was like, you can't it's do that right. here. You can't smoke that in here. And I said, oh, them motherfuckers is in a goddamn car dealership sitting in the car in the middle of the showroom. And he get ready like, he said, you know, I forgot. I forgot that quick, Tasha. <laughs> I said, oh, he about to buy that car. Because that car don't felt so much like home. Yeah. He done started smoking up in the car. Yep. Yeah. So he bought it, y'all. He bought it. Yep. Yep. So we finally at Angela's funeral. And all everybody's there. Cooper Sacks, Tasha, not Tasha, um, Tamika is there. Um, what's the black cop's name? Donovan. Donovan is there. Ghost them show up late. They like, ain't this a bit? <laughs> he got a whole lot of balls to be here. So like, he on some OJ stuff. Yeah. So they go along with the funeral, and we hear a car pull up, and look over his god darn Tommy. And the look on Ghost's face looks like a ghost saw a ghost. Like, you dead. <laughs> and Tommy came there on purpose. Yeah, he came there. He it was a cheesy. The reason why he came there is because he got Jason's protection. Yep. He got as long as he he pays for that uh freaking protection. Ghost can't touch it. Ghost can't touch But if you stop paying it or Jason told him you fuck up, I'm gonna let Ghost kill you. So Tommy's like, I ain't bucking up right now. But Ghost asked Tasha said, you knew um, Tommy was alive? She, she said, said, yep. Yep. And he was driving the car from the showroom floor. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> God, so. I said, ain't got no ghost. Mm. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Ghost, said, ghost is losing right now. Yeah, he losing right now. But we so used to him losing. And eventually he'll start winning again. Yeah. Yeah. So he, you know, that's how it go. So we see uh, Tasha got a new place. And at first we was kind of thought it was suspect because we saw them old cabinets and the old stove and refrigerator. It was like, what the hell? oh, you done went way down from the penthouse. But well, after they pan the camera a little bit, you know, okay. this it, it looks a little better. It ain't the penthouse. Baby, baby ass was like, yeah, this ain't this ain't the penthouse suite that I used yeah. to. Where the elevator at? <laughs> She was like, I'm not used to say, this. Yeah, to come through the door now. <laughs> <laughs> say, we got to put the key in. <laughs> and so last week, a lot of y'all was in the comments was like, you know, y'all sleeping. You didn't you didn't mention anything about Dre. We didn't forget about Dre. I was like, we're going to talk yeah, about somebody ain't there. Yeah, we knew Dre was going to come back, you know, this episode. We didn't know which way he was going to come back. But they brought him back in crazy. <laughs> He in there, cause we forgot that he was in witness protection. That's yeah. how long it's been since the show been off. So he in there doing push-ups 
and the news came on to say that Angela Valdez was dead. And, and she that, was shot. And she was shot. And that book was crazy because uh, what you call it came in there and told him, hey, we got to move you. We got to move you because you're going to be testifying against Alicia uh, Jimenez tomorrow. And he was like, did, 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 did Jimenez kill uh, Angela? Donald was, was like, like, I don't know. But we need to move you. Yeah, we need to move you. He shook. And he shook. He's sitting on the couch like, oh, hell, what if I'm coming? The nostrils flared out. I said, all right, Dre. I see you, boy. Dang. Yeah, man. So. Uh, and then back over there at Jason's. Yeah. Ghost went over there to talk to Jason. Was like, wait a minute. Way bad player. You told me that. that you Why you lying to me? You told me Tommy was dead. Yeah. It did, it, he said, listen, a bad distro is bad for business. Yep. So, uh, you, you can't can kill him. Or oh, he said, you can kill him, but. You got to replace but him. But you got to replace him. He said, replace him with those. like, I told, told y'all, I'm out, I'm out the drug game. He said, so if you kill him, you going to be your his replacement. And if and not it, you, who? who? And I said, Hey, can't nobody else do it but Dre, but Dre honestly. Yeah. And how you gonna get him out of witness protection exactly. to run drugs? But then again, you know the police don't keep you in witness protection that long. So he gonna he getting off witness protection. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Better we'll believe see. that. And before we click off, y'all always ask about my t-shirts because I'm the queen of a graphic tee. I will put the link to this down below. It came from Amazon. I saw that. Karma. Yeah. So I'll put that down below. But that's it, y'all. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty South. Holla.